that's tape. Don't eat that. Oh no. Schmidt, that is tape. That's not for you. Oh no. Hi there. Welcome back. Grab your snackages. We're gonna do some painting today. As you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be talking about honesty. We're obviously painting a birdhouse, because what else is there for me to paint? Recently, I've had to deal with a lot of people lying to me. There's nothing really that I hate more than being lied to. I figured that seems like a pretty decent topic to talk about because I feel like lying is such like a prevalent thing now. Like people just lie over the dumbest things and it pisses me off. Dog. So I just, I can't stand people who lie. What I can't stand even more is when people lie and they think I don't know. So we're just gonna hop right in. I guess we'll start with the roof. We'll do red. From a very young age, I, for some reason, have just always been friends with the liars, the compulsive liars. I'm not sure if they even know that I'm aware of this because they don't stop. And it just, lying just really bothers me. And I don't know. I can't tell you why, because I don't know. But it's just always been something that I've always, like, despised. And, like, trust me, I get it. Like, we all fib every now and then, you know, to preserve your reputation or to save somebody's feelings. But when it's stupid things to try to make you look better than somebody else, it's just a waste of time. Because, like, what the heck is the point? So like recently, oh no. Recently, I've had a lot of people in my life lie to me, and I don't know if they thought that I just wouldn't figure it out, but I did. And I'm not the kind of person to like confront people about their lies, just because I feel like that's just a bunch of unnecessary drama. Wow, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, I mentioned my shirt. Yeah, I've never really been the kind of person that like enjoys calling people out on their lies, but if it's something like really blatant or their story just isn't adding up, like I'll I'll call them out on that and I'll be like, wait, I thought you said it went like this. And then they get all like flustered and they're like, uh, what? I said I'm no such thing. It's those people that just like really irk me. And I think everybody kind of knows one, somebody who just lies for no reason. I just happen to know like 40. And I don't know what, like, it, maybe it's like the LA lifestyle that people, you know, just can't be seen as the, the loser in this situation, as somebody who, like, may not have something. But, like, most of the lies that I get told are like, Oh, yeah, well, you went to Vegas? I went to Spain. And I'm like, oh, cool, where'd you go? And they're like, Oh, uh, mm, I don't remember what it's called. Like, makes my blood boil. And the funny thing is, too, when they think that they're getting away with it, and because like I've had people in my life that are my age who have tried lying to me, and still do try lying to me, and I always figure it out because I've been around them for so long that I actually know what they do, I know their tendencies, I can pick them out. But you know, it's up to them, not up to me. If they feel like they can't be honest with me, that's, that's on them. safe to say that lying is like one of my biggest pet peeves. That and like jaywalking, but that's like a whole separate video. I hope Bob Ross is proud of me. Why? It's just kind of, it's just kind of like entertainment for me. And I'm just sitting here, I'm like, uh-huh. Is that so? It's just kind of entertaining. Does that make me a sick person? Does it also make me a sick person that I don't stop them? But then there are also like the liars who are like the ones that want to start beef just to kind of distract everybody and those people where are they gonna be in life i have like you know the nice liars where they're like oh wow that's like where they pretend that they're genuinely happy about something for you and then i have the stupid liars that try to like compete with you and you know that the story isn't real
continue to lie, and now they have to keep up this lie, and it's the whole snowball effect, and it's just, it's tragic. And people are like, oh, well, what if your honesty offends the person? I'm like, well, the person's either going to be offended at the truth, or they're going to be offended that you lied. And then it's just that you got to pick your poison, you know? I just realized this looks kind of like a Harley Quinn birdhouse. And that wasn't really the goal. Oh my gosh, I just realized this is totally gonna look like a red, white, and blue birdhouse if I do white drips. Captain America would do it. If Steve Rogers will do it, heck, I'll do it. Or better yet, if Chris Evans will do it, I'll do it. I should do like Marvel themed birdhouses. I feel so calm and relaxed and at peace with the world. If you are in my personal life and you feel like I'm targeting you in this video, then I think the problem is a little bit deeper than me just discussing how I hate when people lie to me. So if you're feeling targeted, you also must be feeling, I don't know, possibly a little bit of guilt. Okay, yeah, that's kind of cool. This part is hard. Watching this video, it was such a blast to film, it calmed me down quite a bit. I was pretty pissed off when I first started. I'm feeling pretty good now. I'm gonna go just have some fun. See you in my next video, whenever that will be. I love you. Bye.